Anthony asks, how do you get over feelings for women and stop caring about them? Ooh, it's a great question. And the answer is, the all is mind. Everything is mental. What you think, you become. What you believe, you can achieve. So if you think that little Miss Becky is the number one and only for you, and then she walks away, well, guess what? I'm going to take your heart with her. But if you have the understanding in your mind that you are complete and there is nothing outside of you that you need to be complete and there is no other person on the face of this earth who you must rely on for happiness, when you understand this, when you fundamentally understand this, you don't care when women walk away. When they do walk away, you wave, bye-bye, have a nice life, good luck. You just don't care. And it is important to realize that you don't have a soulmate. You don't have a Mrs. Right. What you do have is a Mrs. Right now. A Mrs. She's good enough. And if she isn't good enough, there are literally 3.5 billion more where she came from. You know what they say. There are plenty of fish in the sea. What kind of damn fool is going to agonize over one fish when there's a thousand more swimming right alongside it? And wouldn't you know it, a lot of those fish taste exactly the same. Some of them taste worse, some of them taste better. You just gotta put your fishing pole back in the water. Put your line back in the water. See what you get next time. There's one guarantee that if you're hung up on some certain fish, there's a guarantee that you'll never catch yourself another one. And frankly, if we want to get real deep and honest on the Bold and Determined podcast, there's not a whole lot that a young lady can offer you today. There just isn't. Now in the past, maybe they cooked, maybe they cleaned, maybe they were happy to have families. Today, that's not the case. They're not interested being a female. Now, of course, I'm talking about Western females. This might be different in, say, Colombia or Thailand or wherever. Though the world is changing fast and rapidly, and all those Females from the third world he thought were so great are rapidly becoming just like their sisters in America, in Germany, in Britain, in Sweden, etc. So what damn fool would be hung up on a young lady who has nothing to offer except her snatch? Listen, there are three billion snatches in the world. Who gives a good goddamn if one walks away? Who cares? I myself, I never cared. I'll tell you what. I was 15 years old when the first girlfriend I had broke up with me. And I watched her walk into school the next day. And I hid behind a pillar so she wouldn't see me. And as I was hiding behind this pillar, I thought, you know what? This is pathetic. I'm never going to go through this again. And I never did. Since that day, when I was 15 years old, and my first girlfriend broke up with me after three days, I never, ever again cared if a girl broke up with me, never cared. Don't care to this day, will not care tomorrow. Since that day, when ladies pick fights with me, the same thing always happens. I always keep my calm, never yell, I never get angry. And what happens is, they start crying, they start pushing. When they can't push me, they say, you don't even have any emotions. It's like you're not even human. Yeah, bitch, what do you want? You want me to see me cry? It's not gonna happen. You know why? You don't bring shit to the table, and I'm not gonna marry you. All my life, all my life, Never wanted to get married. So we've talked about marriage a lot. We've spoken about the keys to a successful marriage. Well, I tell you what, I haven't seen a lot of them in my lifetime. Have not seen a lot of them. My friends who got married while I was away in Asia, I come back. My friends who were strong and healthy and vibrant, I come back and then they've got dark circles under their eyes because they got married. Or they walk with a, they turn into a hunchback because they got married, had kids. So I've never seen, I've never seen, never a happily married man who I envy. The word that comes to my mind when I see a married man is yikes. And I know that's a bit of a contradiction because we always talk about the need for a family and bringing life into this world. Well, getting married to some modern bitch and continuing your bloodline, in my mind, those are different things, completely different things. I don't see a big benefit in getting married. But if you want to live forever, if you want immortality, you've got to bring life into this world because your children are you. So we do find ourselves between a rock and a hard place. Women aren't worth it, but you need them to bring life into this world. So how do you get over feelings for women? Understand what they are and what they bring to the table. Her true value to you is her womb, which you access through her vagina. That's it. That's her value. And to me personally, I never wanted children. I damn sure never wanted to get married. So to me, if they walk away, they walk away. Via con Dios, babe. Have a nice life. Because what else would you do? Cry about it? Whine about it? The problem is that today's men are feminized. They act like little girls. So a girl will cry when you leave her. But today's men, and I'm using the word men in air quotes, today's men will even cry when a girl leaves them. And they'll get all sad and depressed and they'll, they'll get a six pack of beer and they'll, they'll bury their face and, and, and weep and say, oh, Becky, why? Becky, why? Oh, 
Oh, you're the one for me. We're on something so special. <laughs> the fuck out of here with that shit. She's one in three billion. There's 299.999 billion more where she came from. Find a different one. That's as simple as that. They're not special. They're just people. They're just people. And if you saw the bitch without makeup, you'd help her along when she's walking away. Beauty is a facade. It's fake. It's all about makeup. And today it's all about surgery and makeup. Because when you go to places where the ladies don't wear a lot of makeup, you see what they look like naturally. You see what they actually look like. And there's a delusion in America that the girls in America are prettier than the girls in somewhere else. No, they're not. You just don't see them without makeup. They wear tons and tons of makeup, and it tricks you into thinking they're prettier than they are. I can assure you they're not. All of us have had a girlfriend we met on a night out somewhere. She was all dolled up to the nines. Looked so pretty. Six months later, she's walking around without makeup, and you think, what the hell? the hell did I do? The hell did I get myself into? So understand, what do they bring to the table? Well, generally nothing. Sex, big fucking deal. Big deal. That's what every female has to offer. All of them. If you think you can only have sex with one lady, you've got what is called a scarcity mindset. In other words, you are a loser. A winner has an abundance mindset and knows that there are three billion more pussies in the world. No need to be crying over one. I'll tell you what, boys. Every time a girl has broken up with me, I've had a new girl that same night. That very night. You know why? Because I've got an abundance mindset. I know there are plenty more where she came from. And I don't care if she walks away. And you know what happens when you don't care if she walks away? She doesn't want to walk away. She wants to stick to you like glue. It even backfires on you because you want her to walk away. But she won't. So damn, you start to even have the opposite problem. They don't go anywhere. They won't leave you alone. Wanna nag you constantly, call you on the phone constantly, message you constantly. What are you doing? What are you doing? I wanna see you, I miss you. Fuck out of here. So the moral of the story is understand what she has to offer, which is nothing. Let's be real. What does she literally have to offer you? Nothing. There is a mass delusion that having a girlfriend or having a wife will complete you and make you happy and all this kind of stuff. But you know what actually happens? You lose money, you get fat, you get complacent, you get lazy. You start to lose your hair. You start to walk with a hunchback. You get black circles under your eyes. All the happiest men in the world are bachelors, are single. All the happiest men in the world are in monk mode. You want to get right down to it. Now they might have their fun here and there, but they don't commit. For the very simple reason, women don't have much to offer you in the long term. Unless you want a family. Unless you want a family, then her womb is what she has to offer. But if you don't want a family, they've got nothing to offer. All they do is get older and uglier and naggier so if you're not going to have children or family the best thing you can do is just cycle through the young ones keep going through the young ones you'll get older but they'll stay the same age and if you are going to get married and have yourself a family you've got to think about it like a mathematician you've got to take your emotions out of it you got to stop being a whiner you've got to start being a mathematician and put the numbers together okay she's got these genetics her parents are like this compared with my genetics her ability to raise them. Okay, we're going to have a nice, good family. If you marry a girl to start a family because you love her, you made a huge mistake. Guess what? Love fades. The children you produce are forever. Love fades. If you get married for love, you are a dummy. A dumb, dumb, dummy. Getting married for a family is a mathematical equation. Pick the right genetics. Pick the right bloodline. Pick the right temperament. Like you're picking a dog at the racetrack. And that's how you choose a female to be your life partner, to build a family with. Love will come in time. True love, real love will come in time. These damn fools who've been with a lady for six months or a year and think they love her and think they're always going to love her, don't understand. Love fades. What you have is not even love. It It is infatuation. It is lust and infatuation. And it will leave you. Ask any married man who's been married longer than five years. Ask them honestly, sincerely. Did you make the right choice? Would you do it again? I don't know why it is, but people often tell me the cold, hard, blunt truth. They say to me, right to my face, don't ever get married. Don't ever get married, whatever you do. Don't ever get married. And I say to them, yeah, obviously. So again, we are stuck between a rock and a hard place. The meaning of life is to create more life. That's the meaning of life. That's why you're here. To perpetuate your bloodline. To live forever. To experience immortality through your descendants. What does that have to do with getting married? In my mind, not a lot. I think these things are two separate things. And people today do not make the right distinction. They get married for the very wrong reasons. 
so we can be in love. Oh, we're in love. You're not in love. You're in lust and infatuation, and it will go away. There has to be a long-term reason, a long-term plan if you want to get married. And if you don't plan for this long-term, like a scientist or a mathematician, you're going to get got. You're going to see yourself deteriorate, and as you deteriorate, you're going to grow further and further away from Mrs. Wright. And if you're American, she's going to leave you and take everything from you. And that's another reason I don't give a damn if a woman leaves. In America, if you get married and the woman leaves, she can take half your stuff. If you have children, she can take child support for 18 years. She can take alimony. She can walk away from her end of the bargain at any time for any reason, and you will be on the hook to pay for it. That's why these damn fools who get married because of love are fools. That infatuation you have will fade. When it does, what are you left with? Two people who hate each other. But one of those people can take nearly everything from the other one at any time. So growing up in America, I saw that the men who got married were damn fools. And I've seen it over and over again. Men get ruined by getting divorced. And why did the woman leave? Never a reason. She just left. You know why? They're fickle. And then you have the media pumping in their heads. You're strong and independent. Leave and take all this money so you can be strong and independent. So there it is. You have to be a goddamn fool to marry one of these creatures who thinks she's strong and independent while simultaneously taking alimony or child support. Drop the bass, Kitty. If you want to protect your online privacy and help my channel out at the same time, visit drivenanddesire.com forward slash NordVPN. It's restorative, causing a heightened energy. It's excellent for diet because it suppresses hunger. It helps your digestive tract. It's anti-diuretic. It acts against fatigue. And most importantly, it acts against altitude sickness.